we've had a little bit of a wobble since the uh, last episode but uh, despite that we go into the final seven games of the season still top of the table with uh, 73 points from 39 games stay tuned to find out if we can stay there Hello and welcome to Club 4, episode 18 of The Pilgrimage. My name is Jamie. Coming up on today's episode, I've got two games for you in the EFL Championship. First of all, we're away to Crystal Palace and we're then at home to Brighton. As you just saw in the introduction, we've had a little bit of a wobble, but we are still top of the league. So let's get straight into the Crystal Palace game and let's show you the team for that one. And it is... Boyce Clark in goal, the back four of Bristow, Brian, Williams and Godwin Malif. Carter at the base of midfield, White and Galdamas ahead of him. In a change to the uh, normal formation, we've gone with the diamond, so Osorio is behind Ojibeko and Camello up front. Let's submit the team and go and give the team talk. Okay, the assistant manager is recommending the media have given you a lot of credit lately. Go out there and put on a worthy display. Mm. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to uh, challenge them. I'm going to say people are talking about us potentially losing our lead in the table here. Don't let that happen. So let's see what... Can we pump the fists with that? We can. And that seems to have motivated most of them and left the rest of them composed. So that's absolutely fine. We'll kick the match off. And uh, let's see if we can grab the win to uh, keep our uh, title aspirations and promotion dreams alive. Uh, Crystal Palace have had the slightly better start. So let's encourage. We are away, so we do need to be a bit sensible. Uh, Gibbons down the right, crosses, Vargas with the header, but Boyce Clark is well placed to uh, make the save. He launches it, Camello should get there, doesn't, and it's headed back to Gulazzi, the uh, Crystal Palace keeper. He launches it, and Godwin Malif is under it, finds Galdames, who gives it him back. Godwin Malif plays it through for Camello. Camello can't beat the keeper, but does manage to win a corner. And we do get to see the corner, although it's an outswinger from Galdames. It's headed away. And Vargas brings it clear, but the highlight comes to an end. So I need to um, work out what's going on with the corners. Let's, uh, let's do that now. Uh, set pieces corners obviously the game is continuing while we're doing this so hopefully we don't miss anything crucial right uh, left side it looks fine uh, we need the right side sorting so we're going to need a left footer on the right taking the uh, the corners so we'll give it to Harvey White and we will give it to Ethan Bristow and also Key and Brian as well so that's three of them now that can take corners on the right that's fine okay so Portsmouth have taken the lead against Blackpool that's we need to get, rather than the match stats, let's get the uh, league table up in that window instead. And we are still top. Portsmouth are now within two points of us. They've replaced Peterborough in the top two. Peterborough have been in the top two for pretty much the entire season. So it would be desperately sad for them to miss out. Let's demand more. And see if we can uh, get a goal before half time. It's not looking likely, and indeed we don't. 
Uh, Archie Becco isn't playing well, but Camelo is doing okay. Uh, right, we haven't taken nearly enough shots. So let's see what we can do. Oji Beko. Right, I'm going to swap the uh, strikers around. Um, and in fact, yeah, I'm going to swap them around and we'll take Ethan Bristow off. In fact, we will move Harvey White to left back. So Ethan Bristow will be replaced by uh, Gideon Young. That's absolutely fine. And that's going to be the only change, I think, at half time. So we'll send the lads out. Um, we will demand more. We're not going attacking because we absolutely can't afford to lose this game. Uh, Cataldi with the ball in. And Brian does manage to get it away. And the highlight comes to an immediate end. Right, Oji Becco is having a shocker up front. And they've got a corner, it's headed over the top. So Oji Becco for, let's bring on Salcedo. And they've hit the post. We are really struggling to hold Crystal Palace at the moment. I'm bringing on Salcedo. See if he can have a bit more luck up front. Um, Osorio needs to come off as well for the final change. And Josh Martin can replace him. Oh, hang on. Um, that wasn't a wise decision. We've now got White injured. And no subs to replace him with. Um... Right, Salcedo's in here, and he's absolutely hammered that past the goalkeeper. I don't think we need to see the replay. He's just absolutely smashed that. And that is going to leave us top of the table after this game. Right, White with the free kick into the area. The header is over the top from Reese Williams. Several of them are uh, struggling for fitness out there. Right, Kai Kai to Vargas, back to Cataldi. Aaron Bari to Kai Kai. Young's won it back though. And fed Camelo. Camelo to Martin. Young. Young's going to have to do this himself or find support. He finds White, who gets a cross in. Camelo's shot is saved by the keeper. But Salcedo picks up the, uh, the loose ball. And he has scored to make it Crystal Palace nil, Reading 2. And uh, all of a sudden, we are looking a little bit more comfortable. Young to White. It's cleared, but Williams will pick up the loose ball. Brian into Carter. Young back to Brian. Williams, Carter to Salcedo, who plays it wide to White. Camelo gives it back to White. The cross is cleared, but Galdames collects the loose ball. Young, back to Brian. Williams is going to try down the right-hand side this time. Goes back to Brian, and they go left. Young plays in uh, White. White's cross. Camelo's flick, and it comes back to Camelo, who has a shot, and it's saved. And we are 10 minutes away from claiming a priceless three points against the Crystal Palace team that would have had outside uh, ambitions of a playoff place. But surely now, um, given that they are now six points adrift of the playoffs, they won't be featuring... And we are well into stoppage time. The 2-0 lead is enough. And that is full time. It's Crystal Palace 0, Reading 2. I'll see you in a moment for the second match of today's episode. 
Time now for the second match of today's episode as we face Brighton at home and the team for this one is Boyce Clark in goal, the back four of Bristow, Brian, Williams and Godwin Malif, Carter at the base of midfield, White and Galdames ahead of him, Salcedo at the top of the diamond, uh, Camelo and Ojibeko up front. Let's submit the team and go and give the team talk. Okay, well the assistant is recommending pick up where you left off last time out. That's not a bad shout at all, to be honest. So uh, we will point the finger and go with that. And let's uh, kick the match off. And see if we can uh, try and get the win. So the match is underway. Uh, early signs... There aren't really any at, at the moment. A couple of uh, fouls, a yellow card. Um, no shots at all yet. Let's demand more. Uh, we've had the first shot. It was on target, but uh, didn't lead to anything highlight worthy. Neither did the next shot, which again was on target. So defensively, we're doing okay. Um, our best rating of anybody is Sir uh, Reese Williams at the back. Um, our worst rating actually is Salcedo. So he might need to be the, uh, the half-time replacement. So let's... Uh, I think I demand more at this point while we're on this highlight. Uh, Mangala plays it back to Wilmot. Armstrong... Goes for the long ball over the top. Brian wins it back for us. Salcedo gives it to White. It's Oji Becco with the little chip. And it is Reading 1, Brighton 0. And we will watch the, uh, the goal because that was a delicious looking chip. So Salcedo into White. White into Oji Becco. Oji Becco commits the keeper. And then just chips it over the over his legs into the back of the net. 28 minutes gone. It's Reading 1, uh, Brighton 0. And that leaves us five points clear at the top. So it's looking very encouraging at this stage. Armstrong with the long ball forward, but we've won it back. Galdames to Salcedo. Oji Beko to Galdames, who plays it to the right and Godwin Malif. Godwin Malif into the penalty area and it's cleared but Carter wins it back into White Bristow back to Carter White to Salcedo Salcedo to Bristow Bristow's cross and the shot is blocked White to Bristow who has the shot and I think Bristow is offside he is so we have been much the better team in the first half, but we've only got the one goal to show for it. And I think it's the top and bottom of the diamond that are uh, the least effective parts of the team so far. So those are the areas we ought to look to try and get some improvement. Although having said that, Reese Williams has just made it 2-0 with a header from a corner. And that is going to count, so it is 2 0. And the ball flighted in, in swinging corner, headed past the keeper at the near post, 2 0 at half time. So the question is now do we go ahead with those planned substitutions or not? And I have to say, the ratings have improved, they are both over 6.5 now. So I think we will uh, leave it as it is. Things are going well. I know you're capable of better. So again, a slight disagreement with the assistant. Not massively so. And we are into the second half. So I think now it's a matter of um, fitness. So um, Galdames probably ought to be the first one to come off. And we'll bring on um, Julianne. And we will then replace White with Sibley, I think. Probably. Um, yeah, White with Sibley. 
and we will wait for the final substitution as it stands uh, Brighton haven't even had a shot yet never mind a shot on target we're into the last 15 minutes and that remains true uh, the final substitution I think we will go with um, taking off Oji Becker in fact we'll take off Salcedo and bring on uh, Josh Martin Oji Becker has just made it 3-0 so we'll uh, we'll watch the replay of this one. So free kick flighted in from Sibley, header from Ojibeko beats the keeper easily. Three 0 seven minutes left. Yes, we want to make that final change. And uh, there's just three minutes to go into uh, stoppage time, of which there are three minutes and surely it will be a routine 3-0 win just seconds left on the clock now and that is full time it ends Reading 3 Brighton and Hove Albion 0 I'll see you in a moment where I'll show you the lead table and tell you what's coming up on tomorrow's episode OK, time now to take a look at the league table and as you can see we're 41 games gone, we're top of the table, 79 points on the board and 5 points clear of 2nd place Peterborough, 6 points clear of 3rd place Portsmouth. So with 5 games left of the season, I think what we're going to do is we're going to play two matches off camera so we'll play Huddersfield and Sheffield United off camera I'll then bring you back for Peterborough and we will play on camera as many games as it takes for us to uh, secure promotion and the league title so it might be a three game episode or it could all be over in one so uh, that will be on tomorrow's and uh, if you've enjoyed that please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me subscribe to the channel for monday to friday football manager videos thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye <laughs>